Catherine Spalding was born December 23, 1793, in Charles County, Maryland. Spalding's early youth is a little unsure. Her mother brought her to Kentucky around the age of four, which would place her arriving in Nelson County, Kentucky around the year of 1797. Her father is another unsure fact. He may have come with them and left, or he may have died before they left Virginia. Either way, he was not prominent in her life. However, after moving to Kentucky, Catherine was soon orphaned when her mother died, and she lived with her aunt and uncle. Over the years, she lived in different places. When she was 19 in 1813, Catherine went to the Thomas Seminary Farm in Nelson County. The seminary had recently been created by Father Brute and Father David of Bardstown, and was the first seminary west of the Appalachian Mountains. Catherine and two other women formed the Sisters of Charity. After living in different places and being around many youth, Catherine had developed admirable leadership skills, and she was elected supreme of the Sisters of Charity of Nazareth the same year she arrived. While at the seminary, the sisters performed domestic tasks and farm work. They also made clothes, visited the sick, and did religious tasks as well. In 1814, they opened Nazareth Academy near Bardstown. The sisters took their first vows in 1816, and afterward, Mother Catherine was re-elected superior. Over the years, many more schools and hospitals were created by the sisters. St. Vincent's Academy in Union County was created in 1820. In 1823, she went to Scott County, where she helped to establish what became St. Catherine's Academy in Lexington. After leaving her position as Supreme, she returned to the position of Mother Supreme for another six-year tenure in 1824, but found the order in chaos. After the community had grown, the nuns had moved Nazareth Academy to what is now Nazareth, Kentucky, and began construction on a convent and school there. But the bookkeeping was in disarray, and they were in a lot of debt. Catherine showed her leadership skills again. After riding the ship in 1825, the first graduating class of the Nazareth Academy was presented diplomas by Secretary of State Henry Clay. In 1826, Pope Leo XII recognized the order, granting it spiritual advantages. Catherine moved to Louisville in 1831 and opened the city's first Catholic school. During a devastating cholera epidemic in 1832 and 33, she nursed the sick and cared for children orphaned by the disease. It was said in Louisville that every orphan in the city claimed Catherine as their mother. Her concern for these orphans gave rise to St. Vincent's Orphan Asylum, the most cherished of her life's work, and the first Catholic infirmary in Kentucky, which became St. Joseph's Hospital in 1836. Another school that was formed was St. Francis's School at Owensboro in 1850. Mother Catherine died on March 20, 1858 in Louisville of pneumonia, contracted in the course of her charity work. She was buried in the Mother House Cemetery at Nazareth. She left behind a legacy of work with the poor and with orphans, as well as a strong order of 145 sisters and 16 covenants in Kentucky, Tennessee, and Indiana. Mother Catherine was a pioneer of compassion. She lived her life in a constant state of giving. Her most notable school was Nazareth Academy, which developed into one of the best known schools for young women and offered a solid curriculum of arts and sciences. It later became Nazareth College and moved to Louisville in 1920. In 1984, it was renamed Spalding University after Mother Catherine Spalding. In 2015, a statue of Mother Catherine was placed in front of the parish office of South Fifth Street in downtown Louisville. It is the first statue of a historic woman in public space in Louisville. I hope you enjoyed learning about Catherine Spalding. She is another prominent Kentuckian who not only influenced Kentucky, but someone who gave a lot to the people of Kentucky. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choice and to support the channel. Like, subscribe, and share this video in the Kentucky History Channel for more Kentucky History content. Find us on Twitter and Facebook at kyhistorypod. And don't forget to check out the Land Between the Meadows Kentucky History Podcast for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.